yes hi everybody hi welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i made this table check it out it's a table a lit table i want to show you how i made it as usual it's your girl jerry kabiru yes jerry wakafiru if you're new here please sus consider subscribing to my channel then turn on the notification button so that you get to know when i put up new videos every sunday this is the table i'm talking about i used my old christmas light tire and wire cable so anyway you see i had painted this tire long ago it was gold and it's a small tire which i love and then i had this wire cable lying around and i wanted to make a nice table out of it so as usual i use fast dry synthetic paint and um, to paint wood with this paint it's a it, it's a very good thing the only thing is that you have to do it in in parts and in bits so this first coat which is a pr like a primer i make it I, I leave it to be a bit thick i do not use a lot of thinner to dilute it so i just apply when it's a bit thick and i applied to places that i knew i needed because this is for my house it's not for a client so i started applying and then i did the second coat coat a few minutes later i didn't leave it to dry very very well so i did the second coat then with the same same paint it's a bit thicker uh, but it's good because it's it's a primer you know if you ever apply paint you know what a primer is it's the undercoat or the base coat of every painting so i finished with the wire cable i put it aside and i wanted to paint my tire white the reason why i'm painting white you will see at the end of this video why i had to paint inside the tire white yeah so i painted all of that and then i gave them time i left it for about 30 minutes to dry so i came back yes I'm diluting another shade of uh, paint, not shade, S same same white but a different um, way of painting. This is the third and the final coat, so I make it a bit lighter. I do not use the thickness, so I use small thinner to dilute my paint. So of course, just to make it. Um, smoothen and my paint to look professionally even though i used the brush and by the way i have used this brush so many times this brush is a definition of reuse and recycle so after painting the cable i went back also to the tire and painted inside the tire but uh, uh, the reason why you have to i had to leave it for 30 minutes is to make sure the primer settles and settles in and dries and you know this is a fast dry so in 30 minutes it was not completely dry but at least dry to a point where if i apply another paint that's a real primer so i was happy with the outcome of the wire cable and that was our leg that will be our legs for this project yeah so i used the leftover paint um because the thing once you apply thinner to the paint you're not supposed to leave it in storage you're not supposed to store it because it kind of dries or, or it will separate easily so after that i went to the paint that i wanted to paint on top my favorite paint i love it turquoise green so uh, as you see the tire is already gold i had spray painted i knew this was going to be a bit interesting project because once you've, you've used a different type of paint and then you try to use the other one, it's always hard to settle that one in. For those who paint understand what I'm talking about because I should have washed it away. But I, I was like, let me just do it. Let me just cover it up. Uh, that took me to a few rounds of coats. And every time I tried to apply, sometimes it would look like it's not settling in. So that was my primer. I gave it a few minutes, I came back, applied the second time, as you can see, for now, far or 
a distance close uh, a distance shot you can see what i'm talking about in terms of trying to cover up because it it kind of moves away because of the other paint that's how paint behave with one another so anyway for me the second layer time and the third time which now this is my third apply application of the paint i take time now to fill in the gaps this is the perfection moment i take in time to fill in the gaps every place where i need the paint to go i make sure it goes there so by now i'm just applying and making sure nothing um no spot is left there and this is the third application i don't know i, I think i did on three or four coats of paint and you know once you pour out your paint and then dilute it and then you pour it again out it comes out in a different shades i've never understood so what i did i just left all the paint in i poured it out in the container and left it there so by now there we have we have a visual of what i wanted to do then i remembered i forgot that spot and since i want to use a glass on it i had to paint out that or paint it and make sure everything looks good i had not calculated for that one so i decided to take the leftover paints and apply it and first i applied when the tire was there because i wanted to mark where i must paint i had no time to go and buy other paints so i was just applying to where i must paint so after that after marking the places where i'm supposed to paint it was easy now to just remove the tire and paint the place and focus with that place but anyway the paint was it was enough to just paint the whole top of that wire cable so there i gave it a day actually two days to dry totally dry well and then i came home uh, from an event and i remembered i had to finish up my video so here we are i just changed very fast and started working on this yes just to make sure i deliver every sunday and if you have a question by now please leave your question down on my comment section and if you do not have a question just leave a comment say something say the table is cool i would love that or whatever question or whatever comment you would leave there as long as it's relevant to this channel i will really really appreciate that's my baby she's always in my video she wanted my attention so i decided to give her a bit of my attention yeah so what i'm doing i'm putting together the tire and the wire cable i'm putting them together and i know you can see spots where i didn't paint because i didn't have enough paint and i of course my other baby was there to give me a hand when i needed a hand because the cable wire uh, the roll cable kept kept on moving so she was there to make to make sure that i'm drilling the right place by holding everything together and when i'm moving my tire by the way i don't do, drag it on the floor because you don't want your, your paint to be messed up by anything you know so i'm just putting screws and these screws are supposed to go through the tire also to make sure everything is holding together together yeah so and uh, talking about holding together this week's story or this week's thought i want to ask you how do you hold yourself together because um i've realized that most of the time the world the way it is things that we go through they tend to fall us apart how do you hold yourself together in for me i have realized when i wake up leave the bed early work out a bit start my day early gives me a motivation to hold everything together 
it just does so that's what i've been working on to make sure that i'm holding myself together and once you know what you what holds you together i think it's important to keep yourself faithful to it you know what what really inspires you to live what inspires you to to move on to just fight for your rights and everything that you need what is that one thing you can leave it on my comment section let's share with one another let's give the tips you know and if, this week i've been reading the books of the books of proverbs the wise books and they say the food people sleep they love sleep while other wise people uh, they wake up and push the day I, I will check which proverbs exactly the verse anyway um i used two more screws they were a bit longer to make sure that the cable roll and the tire is holding together and this tire is not a big tire by the way it's a small tire um later i will probably do a seat tire or something for it uh, but i loved the way it came out what do you think guys here it is almost at the end of it what do you think please let me know then i remembered christmas lights we got to light the table so there is the christmas light uh yeah my baby my cat thought it, it was an opportunity for her to play more or to play with something that is interesting so the good thing i didn't have to drill that hole because it was already there yes it was already there which made my work a bit easier and there is the light so this table will be definitely next to a seat i'm going to use it as a side table one thing i love is side tables i think that's one of my interesting or interested pieces because i always like sitting on the seat and not worrying where will i place my cup is the table too far away i love these side tables and i think to me they they make my place of my work easier so what we are doing we are putting the lights in there in the in the tie remember i painted it white I painted it white for a reason because I wanted the light to reflect. If I think if I left it dark, it would not be that reflective. So I used the paint as, a, as my reflector. Just to make sure that it comes out shining. So here you go. Placing the glass on top. I didn't want to drill the glass on it um maybe i'm going to drill it later um there you go that's my volkswagen yes and my baby so there we have the complete of it showing you showing you from a distance and then let's turn off a bit of light and there we go that's how it looks at night you know and you don't when you're watching a movie you don't even have to switch on your light you just have that as something to show you where your popcorns are or who is next to you and then you just watch your movie isn't it classy i really really hope you liked this project i really hope it is one project that you can learn something out of it and until the next time i'm going to say thank you and bye please subscribe leave a comment bye